Welcome back, you guys. Welcome to this month's favorites video. This is my March favorites. It's funny how the year works because the first couple months of the new year, it just feels like it drags and drags and drags. And then once spring is finally here, once April arrives, it's like, where did the time go? Here we are. So I'm gonna share all of my favorite things that I've been loving throughout the month with you. I do have quite a few new things. And yeah, I hope you like this. Please subscribe and let's just jump right in. So the obvious first favorite is this little guy who still doesn't have a name, but this is our newest addition to our family. We're just so happy to have him in our life. He's just such a sweetheart, so scrappy, so much personality and such a small little dog. Um, we still have to get him DNA tested and if you're curious how we found him and the whole story behind him and how he joined our family, um, I will link my last two videos down below in the description box and up here. We just love him so much. Pretzel's loving him. She tolerates him, but she she's really starting to love him. And we're just so happy to have him in our life and I think he's really happy to be here too. So um, he was living outside on the street, abandoned, and now he's not anymore. So he's just been like my little pal for a little while and just such a nice surprise and we're just so happy to have him. So I couldn't start this video without talking about how happy we are to have him in our family and have him here. And he's just like my little shadow. He just like follows me around the house, cries when I go outside. And when I film, he likes to sit right here next to me and put his head on my lap. It is the sweetest little thing. So we just love him so much. Look at him. He has like little burns on his hair like little spots where it's like charred and his tail is really charred and like look at how tiny come here can i lift you up look how tiny you're so smooth so i got two smooth dogs now and we are just our hearts are so full are you tired i will let you down now okay <laughs> number one favorite is this guy along with pretzel of course she's always a favorite so when we got this dog he smelled so I just saw a squirrel just like fly across this tree in front of me. <laughs> anyway, when we first got him, he smelled horrible. I'm talking horrible. Pretzel smelled awful when we got her too. And actually when we washed Pretzel, when we first got her, it actually made her smell even worse. She ended up smelling like a barnyard animal. It was horrible. He smelled awful as well. It just like when you pet him, your hands smelled, everything was just stinky. And he needs another bath too. I just didn't want to traumatize him too much right off the bat. We tried to wash him in my in-laws like um, mudroom sink, but he just was like scratching, crawling up all, you know, it was just a lot. So he got like a little mini bath and then we brought him home. I feel like the like washing your dog in the shower is like the easiest thing because for him to be that bad or not bad but like that reactive in a sink to then just be so calm in the shower. If you haven't washed your dog like that, if you have like a dog that you can hold, highly recommend it. The way that I've washed Pretzel all these years and now washed him and it went great is I go in the shower, hold them and put the water at like a good temperature not too warm and i just like hold them and like wash them like this like get them all wet set them down i wash them on the ground with the soap and then rinse them off and then we do have like a handheld that can come down and i'll go like under the neck with the handheld and he was just like so chill just kind of like sat there and, and let me do it i'm happy because the first little bath that we tried was a shit show but anyway my next favorite is the dog shampoo that i've used for years and I love it. This was originally sent to me by Unite and I never would have bought this. Like I just, I don't know. I never would have bought like bougie dog shampoo, but now that I have it, it's amazing, especially for such a stinky dog. I didn't have this when we first got pretzel. It was once they realized I had a dog that they kindly sent this to me and I've been using it on her ever, ever since. And she smells amazing, but he smells so bad from just like living outside for however long. And I used this on him and it smells incredible. Like it took away so much of his stinky stray dog smell. Um, again, we need to do it again, but I'm going to wait for some time because I don't want to do it right away again. But I just had to mention this because I feel like it's such a random product that I don't really think, God bless you, I don't really think to share it that much just because I also, I also don't wash pretzel like a ton once a month, sometimes once every two months. It kind of just depends on her hair. I use that as an indicator. I've heard not to wash your dogs too much because that's also not so good. Like I I'm just going off of what like my vet has told me. Um, so that's what I do with her. With him, we will see how it goes. Um, but I have been 
I feel like, I mean, I've been loving this for years and I can't believe like it's taken me forever to really share it. I might've shared it before, but I think especially now using it on him and with how, what is on your nose? With how stinky he was to how he smells now, like it's just night and day. And with how rough his hair is, like the condition that it is, it's in really poor condition. I think with diet and like regular baths, it's gonna change. Yeah, I'm just curious to see what happens with his fur um, just over time of again, diet and washing him and stuff. But I had to share this because the transformation was incredible. And it's something that like, you won't, you can't even really see. It's a touch and smell sort of a situation and it's amazing. So I will link it down below. I need to replenish it soon. I'm almost out. And also a little goes a long way. It frosts up really nice. That was something else I noticed when I used the shampoo at my in-laws house. It just didn't lather. And I need a lather. I need to, I need to feel like I'm cleaning this stinky ass dog, especially when he's full of dirt and you know, it just, he ne he needed a good scrub and I needed it to feel that way. So that really lathers up really nicely. Let's talk about my favorite little combo that I've been talking about for a while now. It's the Embryo Lease Multifunction Moisturizer and the Color Science Flex Tinted Sunscreen. I have this in the shade medium. I'm gonna have to buy this in the full size. I got a mini size just to see how I was gonna like it, but these together have just been my go-to. It's what I have on right now. Um, this, again, it's just a moisturizer, but you can also use it as a primer. It kind of like is like a dual purpose kind of product. And then this is just a tinted sunscreen. So I'm gonna start with this first. This I got because it just gave me like a nostalgic feel, even though I've never owned it until now. I feel like this is such a popular product for so many professional makeup artists. I've seen this so many times just in, in time, just over time um, in just like professional makeup artist kits and just online, like people used to talk about it back in the day. And finally I was like, you know what? Let me just get it. And there's nothing, <laughs> There's nothing crazy special about it, nothing crazy unique, but I think that's why I like it. It's such a good, simple product, which is my jam. I love things that are so simplistic because I think that, I think once the beauty industry just kind of like skyrocketed, so many companies tried to like wow us by making very unique things. Like I love Too Faced, but like some, like the, t like the smell aspect to things like I think they just want to be unique and it's just not my favorite thing because it's just too much and I think that that's just one example of just like companies in the industry in general and beauty and skincare and everything just like trying to wow us and do something unique because they have to honestly they have to stand out but for me personally I like simple things I like things that work that aren't too over the top. So I've noticed that, like, as I'm saying this, I'm like, oh, that's why I like these certain things because they're just the simple, basic things. So that is very, that pretty much just sums, sums up this moisturizer. It does, it, it does work as a really great primer as well. Um, one other thing that could be making this work so well as a primer is I started cleansing my face in the morning too random, but for years I've only cleansed at night, cleansed and moisturized at night. And then in the morning, I usually splash my face with water and then just follow up with a moisturizer just because my skin was just so, I don't know, like I felt, at, I think when I started doing this, like my skin was really sensitive. And so washing it again was just too much. And then I just got so, I, it, I don't know why, I just got like in that habit and I never thought of it again until I had a conversation with a man about skincare. And I was like, maybe? I should wash my face in the morning. I just, I've been so used to not doing it that it's been like a decade. I feel probably like a decade since I've like washed my face regularly in the morning. So I've been doing that and I feel like it's been helping with, I feel like I have pretty normal skin. It gets a little oily, but like nothing crazy. So I feel like that's part of it. But I think that's why a product like this can work for me for priming. And I think it's great too, because it's a two in one, I'm not adding another product on. I recently got a question actually about like how long to wait in between cleansing, moisturizing and putting on your makeup. To be honest, I think that's all trial and error for each person individually. For me, I don't notice a difference if I do a short amount of time or a long amount of time. Every day is a little bit different and I don't really notice much of a difference. So um, trial and error, figure out what's best for you. But yeah, 
I love this. It just comes out like a simple moisturizer. Please don't eat my notebook. It's just a very simple moisturizer. Feels very lightweight, but very creamy. And it's the perfect base for underneath this. Color Science Tinted Sunscreen. I love this. This, I've seen all over TikTok and Instagram, and then my friend Abby was using this a ton on Instagram, and I was like, let me try this. So it comes out white like a sunscreen, and then as you blend it in, it has a tint to it, and I think it actually adjusts to your skin tone a little bit. This is what I have on my face right now as my base. I don't have on any foundation. It's just this tinted sunscreen, so it does give a little bit of coverage, and I just think it's so beautiful. I just apply it with my fingers. I do feel like I need to have like a nice creamy base underneath, like a nice moisturizer, so then it just slips right on, and it just, it's so beautiful. It has SPF 50, which has been great because I've been using Differin, which I'm actually gonna talk about next. And I just love it. These two specifically are just such a good combo. And I feel like it's something that I don't even have to think about. Like if I was on the go, which I've never been in this situation, but if, if I was ever on the go and had to do my makeup like without looking, I could just do this and have like my base all figured out. So um, I just love it. It's great. And this is a really great combo. Next is this brown mascara from Too Faced. I love this. This is what I have on my eyes right now. Um, I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit softer. They sent this to me a while ago, along with like the liner. There's like a brown liquid liner. And I just love it. I think, number one, the Better Than Sex mascara is really good. Um, I feel like a lot of other companies have tried to like emulate the Better Than Sex mascara and they've been successful. Like, I just think it's a really good wand shape and everything. But yeah, I just think that the brown, I don't know. I. It's kind of hard to tell that it even is brown on my eyes, but I think because I have blue eyes, it's just really helping them pop even more because the warmth in the mascara really helps the blue stand out. Even though I've been into like color analysis and all that, this is more warm where like a navy is more cool and would really complement my skin. Because this is right by my eyes, I think that it's just really complimentary there to contrast with the blue. So. I've just been really liking this, especially like if I'm doing a no makeup makeup day or I'm going to the gym, which I actually rarely wear mascara to the gym, but I don't know. I just think it looks really good on me and I've been really enjoying it. So this is actually not the first time I've done it with like a full glam, but um, I think this is my first time filming a video where I don't have lashes on and I did like a full glam with the brown mascara and I think it looks really good. I like it. And maybe you can't even tell. And honestly, maybe that's the point. I think that's good to not be able to tell too much, but I like it. I think it looks, I think it looks really good. Next is a kind of a random product, but this is the Real Techniques setting brush. I have had this for years and recently I've just fallen back in love with it again. I've been using it for concealer. It's a little bit fluffier than the Sigma FO3 brush. You can see here that one's just a little bit flatter where the Real Techniques one is just a little bit fluffier. Um, I also like the shorter handle for whatever reason. I feel like it's just really good to blend in my concealer. I did a Get Ready With Me video on this look, so that will have already gone up. If you wanna see this in action, I use it in that video. But yeah, I've just been really liking it. It's good and it's a drugstore brush. I think, yeah, you can get this at like Target and stuff. So love this brush. Next is such a random product but it has brought so much joy to my life and it might bring joy to your life as well. This is my Thickalish, Thickalish, Thickalish Cage coffee mug. It just, it makes me so happy. Ruben and I just love movies and shows and that's our love language together. Like we love to watch stuff together. And like every time we go on a different app, like every month there's a new movie with Nicolas Cage and this man, He's just so versatile. He's doing so many different things and I just, I applaud him. He works so hard and anyway, I don't know how, how I came across this. I don't remember. How, how the fuck did this even come into my life? Cause I can't imagine I would look this up. Did I look this up? I don't know. I got it on Amazon though. And it brings me a lot of joy. And now I can look at Nicolas Cage in this hot bod every day. It is my mug of choice and it brings me joy. 
Moving on. This is random. I don't even think that this really fits into a favorite of the month because I just put it on today, but because it's sitting here, I want to share it with you and it's what I'm smelling in the air. This is the vacation scent from the Vacation Sunscreen Company. This was sent to me from Katie's brand 30 years um, last summer and I'm just now using it and it smells incredible. I put it on today. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Mmm. It just smells like summertime. It smells like sunscreen. It reminds me of that Tom Ford. I think it's called Beach by Tom Ford. Maybe I have that wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. It just smells like sunscreen in the best way possible. And they also have an actual sunscreen that smells like this. So it just smells incredible. And I love the bottle. It's so bougie and sleek. And I'm just, I'm getting ready for summertime. I'm ready for it. We have had the gloomiest weather for the last like two weeks. It has been raining, sleeting, snowing, no sunshine, muddy, just dark gloom doom. And finally the sun is out today and I put this on and it just mm, brought me to being on the boat in the summer and I'm just, mm, I'm ready for it. So um, I know this isn't <laughs> technically a monthly favorite, it's a today favorite that I will be wearing going forward and I had to share it with you. Next are two other, or three other scented things. First and foremost is this freaking soap from Bath and Body Works. It is incredible and I need to go get more this weekend because Ruben and I both just love it. Anytime one of us leaves the bathroom after washing our hands, it just is in the air and it smells amazing. This is the Fiji White Sands soap from Bath and Body Works and they also have it in a candle and I will have to go this weekend and get some because their candles are always like 50% off, I believe on the weekends. This smells so good. It's so good. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like fresh, but summery. It's, oh, it's amazing. You have to go smell it. Go wash your hands at Bath and Body Works. Try it out. I cannot wait to go get more for every single bathroom because it just smells so incredible. I have been a Jo Malone whore with my soaps ever since we moved into this house and this replaced it. I will not be buying that bougie soap anymore for the time being. I'll probably get it again, but mm, it's just incredible. It smells amazing. I have two candles from Bath and Body Works that I've been loving. Um, again, I do need to get the Fiji White Sands candle because I haven't gotten it yet, but that soap in a candle, I can just only imagine. Um, but this is Fresh Cut Lilacs. I love the packaging of this this year. How beautiful. This is like what I want my backyard to look like. We have like no landscaping on our house like at all. It's been like bare minimum because listen, landscaping is expensive. Every time I'm like, okay, maybe we'll do a little something this year. I look into it and I'm like, really? Fuck, like I'm just gonna do my pots outside in the front. Anyway, how glorious would that be for a backyard like flower garden? This smells so good. I'm like completely out of it. It didn't even light last time I tried. Mm. Just, it literally smells like you walk past a lilac bush. And then the one that's behind me there, I need to replenish that one as well. That's white gardenia. That also smells amazing. It's just a little intense. Like right now that I'm in this room, I filmed a get ready with me video. Now I'm filming my favorites. I can't wait to blow it out because it's just a little intense, but it does smell really good. I mean, the whole upstairs is gonna smell like this candle. It smells really good. I wanna get another one of those, another fresh cut lilacs, and then also the Fiji white sands in a candle. I think oh, just so good, so springy, and it those scents can also bring you through the summertime as well. The next favorite of mine is this notebook. I got this at Target, and I really wanted a new journal because I started getting into journaling last August, and I was, last summer specifically, I was really going through a hard time, and I started to read um, The Artist's Way by, I think, Julia Cameron is her name, I think. One thing that I learned from that is to journal every morning, and journaling was never my thing like if you a year ago if you would have told me I'd be into journaling i had been like no you're lying because I hate I hate writing I hate putting out my thoughts I hate just writing down what I'm grateful for when I'm when I'm told that I have to do it like I liked the five minute journal where it's like write down three things you're thankful for write down three things that would make today great like that I think that's nice it's nice but for me I just it needs to come out naturally because I do end up writing out what I'm grateful for, but it's not because I have to, it's because I'm doing like a brain dump and that's what 
Julia Cameron talks about in the artist way is just writing out three pages of like a brain dump. So one thing I didn't like about that though was I had a full blown <laughs> notebook when I started that and my hand would get so tired. I got like um, so much pain in my hand from like writing so much. So I wanted to get a new notebook that brought me joy when I looked at it, that was a little bit smaller and I would just write at least one page and then more if I needed to. And just focus mainly on like the brain dump, just whatever's in my mind, just letting it out. And I have enjoyed it so much. And I think just having a fresh new notebook, like this just exemplifies like happiness and spring, summer freshness that is what I needed because the other notebook, it just had a lot of like pain in it, you know? And I just needed, I don't know, I didn't want to open it because that's what it like, uh, what is the word? I don't want to keep saying exemplified. I feel like I've said that word a hundred times today, but that's what it was for me. Like it was just, at the time it was such a negative thing. I don't know, I hope I'm making sense here. This is just a fresh start, not to say that like every day going forward is gonna be amazing. That's absolutely not true. I'm just a different person than I was then and I just wanted a nice fresh new notebook and I love this. I think it's so cute. I'm so picky with notebooks. Sorry, I had to pick my nose. I wanted it to be a spiral. I wanted it to be literally exactly this size, not too small, not too big. I wanted the spiral so that I could open it like this and write. And I wanted the pages to be like this. I didn't want college ruled paper. I didn't want anything with like other things on the tabs. Like nowadays, every freaking notebook that I open has like date and like just other things on there, which is just like weird. I wanted just a standard freaking notebook that was wide ruled. And then also a lot of things that I ended up liking that were in like a cute outer picture like this were planners and I didn't want a planner. Obviously I wanted just a notebook for me to just brain dump. So um, and I'm very picky about the way that it looks. So this was just so perfect and so happy for me. And I just love it. I think it's so fun and fresh and springy and just cheerful. I wanted to share a couple of people, some creators and just continue on this like sharing favorite people that I like to watch on the internet. First and foremost is Jay-Z Marie Smith. I love her. I've been following her for just a couple years. I feel like I only found her within the last, probably since like 2020, I think. Um, but she vlogs online. She has the What We Said podcast with her friend Chelsea, and she is recently pregnant, and she went through a whole like IVF journey, and she shared that on her YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it, you've got to watch it. It's just it's so good and I, I love when people share their experience good or bad it's just I think it's good for us to like learn these stories about other people and see what like other people have to go through um and I admire her for like her strength and like everything that she's even willing to share I just think that's incredible and it's gonna help so many other people so I love her and I just, I like her personality. She's really chill. Next is Gains by Brains. Her name is Sophie and she lives in, I think, think Amsterdam. Um, I love her accent. She's so beautiful and she documents like workouts, food, just all of that sort of thing. When I was talking about creators that you guys like um, and just like to leave me recommendations, a lot of you guys mentioned her and I totally forgot to mention her when I was talking about creators that I liked at the time, but I've been following her I think since 2022. So only for about two years now. I just love her vibe. I love her aesthetic. She has like a very clean um, but like dark aesthetic at the same time, it's kind of hard to describe, but I love it. I love the content that she puts out and she inspires me to create more like curated and beautifully filmed content. Cause that's like how her content is. It's not so casual as it is like just vibey and beautiful. So gotta check her out, I love her. And then last but certain, certainly not least for today, I have Carrie Rad, who she recently had a baby, little baby girl, and she brings me so much joy. Anytime I watch her videos, I feel so inspired and content. She, like a word for her would just be like contentment and beauty and sunshine. Like, so her and her husband moved from California to New Zealand because he is, uh, he has dual citizenship, I believe. And so they were able to move there during the pandemic. They have this beautiful cottage home in New Zealand on this land. They have sheep, she does outdoor gardening. Just the way that they live their life is just so inspiring and beautiful and just kind of like, 
she kind of talks about how like she used to live in LA and like did like that whole thing just getting uber eats and like all of that stuff and then to go from that to where they are now to where they're just like way more disconnected how much happier she is and just it really just like shines through her videos too so i just really love her content all of her videos she just seems so at peace in life and i aspire to be like that so i just love her i will link all of those channels down below so you can check them out and um hopefully subscribe to them because i know if i love them you will too but anyway that's it for today's favorites video i know it's a little all over the place but those are the things that i have really been loving this month and enjoying and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today please leave your favorites down below especially like shows and movies and things i feel like i don't share that enough but i'm a huge movie and show person and I love it all I love it all so um if I remember I need to like make a tally of the things that I watch in the month so I can share those two um at the end along with the different creators so leave your favorite creators down below leave your favorite movies all the things that you've been loving and we can all share the love down below in the comments thank you so much for watching please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video